On the breakfast today, Nigerians fume as hackers boast of gaining access into the savor of the National Identity Management Commission and stole 3 million national identity numbers of Nigerians. We look at the implication of data security. Also on the breakfast, we look at the unconstitutional seizure of power in Mali and the sanction by the economic community of West African states, closing land and air borders between ECOWAS member state and Mali. And don't forget, we'll also be looking through the papers today and analyzing the big stories of the national dailies. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's good to be back on your screen this beautiful Tuesday morning and I hope uh, we have all returned to work. As usual on the show, and first of all, of course, my name is Messi Bopo. And as always, we start off the show with our top trending. Uh, top trending would be conversations generating reactions in different quarters. Now, the first of today would be the fact that uh, you have a former governor of Lagos State, uh, Tonumbu who has declared his presidential ambition. And that's one you know, conversation that has generated a lot of reaction in different quarters amongst Nigerians as we speak right now. So um, yes, like I mentioned, a former uh, Lagos State governor and national leader of the All Progressive Congress, the APC, Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, has uh, informed the president, he said he has informed the president about his presidential ambition. Now, according to him, he's also stated that his, he's also mentioned his ambition at a point in time, you know, declaring that to the vice president, and that's getting a lot of Nigerians talking whether he should declare his intention to the president and the vice president. And you want to begin to ask yourself, of course, the president belongs to the All Progressive Congress. And and the vice president as well. Now, uh, but you know, to look at it, I, I just think that you know the uh, the former Lagos State Governor is just exercising his uh, constitutional right because, according to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended, uh, everyone has a right to vote and be voted for. And whether or not we like the candidature of an individual or not, it would always be determined by the electorate. And so usually at the poll, everyone has a right to contest as long as you know you meet the requirement. And so uh, during the elections, that is when everyone also have a right to decide who becomes president or who will not become president. But that has also you know resulted to the fact that some people say, oh no, we can't continue in this circle. I mean, that's never going to happen. And some people are very positive about it or there's a very negative about it but fingers across like I mentioned earlier on I mean who everyone has a right you know as long as you come of age even though some quotas are arguing of you know uh, there should be a particular age limit especially those who have actually vied for political office in different times of their lives but fingers are crossed we also continue to see how that has panned out and you also have different persons who have also declared their ambition but we watch out and see how things unfold and how nigerians actually will react to this come 2023 then that's it. We move to the next story. Another is the fact that the indigenous people of uh, uh, the Biafra have actually enforced another city home order. And it's also generating that conversation. Over time, the city home order has uh, caused a lot of people to question whether that's the right strategy that IPUB has actually adopted, you know, trying to get you know, getting their demands out there. Uh, first of all, you remember the time during the, uh, in 2021, where the Anambra election was going to happen and there was a seat room order, and that also, uh, you know, threatened, almost threatened the election that was going to happen in Anambra state. But yes, there's another seat at home order, and you have different reactions. Some quotas are saying, uh, you can't constantly have this seat at home order because it's destroying the economy of you know the southeastern region and this state where you have this seat at home order is a seat at home order has, has it been very effective how far has ipop achieved what have they achieved with the seat at home order now this is a contrary and a different reactions surrounding the seat at home order away from that quite interesting is that of the kanu state uh, Kanu state where you have the government banning opposite sex from swimming in the same 
poll. And uh, as always, you would also have, you know, people coming with different opinions. Um, but, you know, constantly, a lot of people have also said that uh, the issue of religion and culture would always be, um, you know, number one for us in the country. While others are saying that we have all the issues that are, you know, disturbing the country at this point in time and majorly especially in the northern part of Nigeria where you have a uh, lot of activities of bandit and kidnappers uh, you know taking the front role so we should be paying attention you know to some of these issues and concerns now this is some of the uh, you know issues that have been generating a lot of conversation across board in different quarters all right we'll step on the brakes right now and when we come through uh, we will be checking out the papers. We call it Off the Press, Off the Press, where we have Chris Wandu, who will be joining the conversation. And also, in the course of the show, we will be looking at a major issue, talking about a cyber attack or a security breach on our database, talking about the National Identity uh, you know, Management Commission office that was attacked, allegedly, however. And we'll also be moving to, you know, Mali, where we talk about the sanction by the ECOWAS, you know, community entirely saying, hey, we're restricting, you know, access, closing the land borders and the air borders. This would be part of the conversation uh, for the breakfast this morning. Stick around, we'll be right back. <laughs> 